Hello all. Welcome to part 61 of Python tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use star arcs in Python. So let's get started. Star arcs is a function parameter in Python which can receive any number of input arguments. Now let me practically demonstrate this star arcs for you. For that, I'll open this PyCharm ID where we have the sample Python file. First, I'll create a function. I'll name this function as sample function. And inside this sample function, I'll provide a argument, okay, star arcs. Okay, I'll provide a single parameter known as star arcs. Provide a column here. And under this function, okay, under this function, I'll write the code like this for i in, for some i in this arguments, okay, arguments, colon, print of i. Like this, I am writing some sample code, guys, okay, there is a function which has a single parameter known as star arcs. This star arcs can receive any number of input arguments, okay, any number of input arguments can be received by this star arcs. Now, if I call this function, like this, if I call this function, if I pass only one value, say 9, 9 will go into this argument, and here for i in arcs, only one value is there, right? Only 9 will be printed. Run this code, only 9 will be printed here. What if I say 9 comma 1? Is it possible to call this time? Here only one parameter, right? Star arcs is only one parameter, but here, how many arguments we are passing? 9 comma 1, two arguments. Still, it will accept, guys, okay? Even though it is a single parameter here, since it is mentioned with star here, it will accept more than one arguments also. So 9 comma 1 will go here in the first iteration of the for loop. Okay, for i in received arguments for i in 9 comma 1 means 9 will be assigned to the i and 9 will be printed here after in the second iteration 1 will be printed. Okay, so run this code 9 and 1 will be printed in the output. Similarly, I can pass 5 comma 7. Okay, here 4 arguments are being passed. Any number of arguments you can pass guys, the single parameter that star arcs parameter can accept them. Okay. So this for loop will now iterate how many times? Four times. Every time it will print a different value. That is first time it will print nine, second iteration for this for loop will print one, third iteration for loop will print five, and fourth iteration seven. Okay. Nine one five seven. You see? Nine one five seven. And here, guys, so it's not compulsory that the name of this uh, arc should be arcs only. You can give anything here. Okay. For example, I'll give star t. Here t I have to say. That's it. Okay. Whatever the Parameter name is that we have to provide. Okay, here before the parameter name hashtag should be there. Okay, so still it is a star arcs only. Okay, still it is a star arcs only. Guys, arcs is just a name, guys. Okay, most of the people use arcs, so you can either use arcs or you can give some name. Okay, you can give some name like T or something. Okay, now run this code, the same output you will get without any problem. Okay, so I'll change it to arcs so that it uh, looks good. Fine. So this is the functionality of the arcs, guys. This is not enough. Okay, you can we can also do one thing. Okay, for example, there is a function like this def sample and which receives okay, which has the multiple parameters like this. Okay, a b c d are the four parameters are there, and here I'll print all the four parameter values. I'll print as it is. Okay, a comma b comma c comma d, whatever the parameter values are there, I'll print as it is. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll just create something like arcs is equal to some list of values I'll provide. So here, how many parameters are there? That many number of uh, values I'll create in the list. Okay. Intentionally, I'm creating a list having only four values because here only four parameters are there. But while calling this, okay, while calling this sample function, okay, if I have to send all these four values, I take go to these four parameters. So here I have to say star arcs again. Okay, what is the name of the variable, right? That list variable, right? That you have to provide here as saying star arcs. Here also you can use star arcs, guys to pass all the list of values at a go to all these parameters. So nine will go into a here when I, when I call this function as sample of sample of star arcs. Okay, the star arcs will send the list of values where the first value of the list will be passed to a second value of the list will pass to b third value of the list will pass to c and then seven will go into d. So when you print a b c d nine one five seven will be printed in the output. You see nine one five seven will be printed in the output. So there are two ways case okay where you are using star arcs in Python. Star arcs you are using as a function parameter to receive any number of input arguments. That's one thing. Second thing is when you want to pass a list of arguments, okay, a list of arguments you want to pass in the form of a list if you want to pass the uh, arguments to the 
function, then you can also use star x here. Okay, in the function calling statement also you can use star x. In the function you can use star x. Okay, in the function while creating the function as per in the place of the parameters you can use star x. And while calling the function, in the function calling statements also you can pass the list of values as star x. So this is how we have to use star x in Python, guys. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.